Meow. Meow. Hi, it's Penny Bowden here, crazy cat artist. So I'm just starting with mapping in the shapes of this lovely Siamese kitty. I grew up with Siamese, so they're very special to me. And I love to hear what kind of cats you grew up with or what kind of cats you have now. So drop me a comment. Tell me about yourself or your cat or whatever or what you want to learn about cat drawing. And I'll do my best if it's in, within my realm to get it on here. So I like the shape I've got now. Just kind of tweaking to make sure everything looks convincing. Just paying attention to the important lines and not worrying about the others. Less is more. And yes, you are welcome to join our Cat Drawing Art Workshop Facebook group if you are passionate about drawing cats and you will find the link to that in the video description below. We'd be happy to have you. Just going to get those eyeballs in there. A lot of correcting at this stage. That's why I end up with extra lines, but those extra lines just fade away into background tone as I go. The best drawings look drawn. They really do. They have that character and that human aspect and the authenticity that you just can't capture in a photograph. And when you're drawing from photos, you know, you kind of got to use your life drawing skills too. It's it's really good to if you if you have your own cat to draw your cat from life. And if your cat moves, you just move on to the next pose and it's invaluable what you learn then and you can apply those skills to when you're drawing with photos because there is always something missing in the photo. A camera is actually a pretty poor recording device. It has its merits, of course. I'm not bashing photography. It is great for reference. But those life drawing skills come in really handy to fill in the gaps. It's the lighting that's that's missing in in photographs often. Things are flattened. And it's up to you to help them pop out the way they do in life. Just kind of getting a suggestion of the markings around there. And then I'm going to speed up once they start filling the markings in a little bit. I like that. I love that facial expression. Careful with the nostrils. It's easy to pig nose anyone. Okay, now we'll get that filled in quick. On the face, I want to have those markings there, yet still allow the facial features to stand out. So it's a delicate dance, getting everything done the way I want it. And this is just my style. You'll find your own. You don't want to be a carbon copy of me. You want to be yourself. You've got your own way and you'll find it if you practice. So I'm just slowing back down here now and I'll do the whiskers, the finishing touches. I like this kitty. Reminds me of my baby Tammy that I had from my teens into my 20s and she was my firstborn child's best friend. 